Hey, it's Ryan Cavino with RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the South Boston Mass Condo Market update for the weekend of February 9th. And as usual, we have a lot of activity this week with South Boston. We had five new properties, six go under agreement and six sell this week. So let's see if we can bang out a couple to show you what's going on. We have um, 227 West 3rd Street, and this is a good buy. This is a one bedroom, two bath for 220, 224. And uh, they do have a bonus room that is the second bedroom. And this would be the bonus room, I believe. But uh, maybe there's no closet in that room, so they don't have it as a bedroom. 30 Woodward Street, unit one is also a one bedroom. It's got off street parking, which is pretty cool for 269. Recently renovated within the past few years, you can see, has some of the um, um, features that some of these new re newly renovated properties have with the trendy painting and um, the Wayne's coating and um, the granite and stainless steel. 572 East Broadway is a two bedroom that just came on. And this is Dorchester Ave to East Broadway. We have some granite, some high ceilings, uh, some maple cabinetry, and um, again, some trendy painting. I'm trying to get the layout here. It looks like some of the rooms might be below gray, but the unit placement is upper, so I don't think so. And then we have 55 I Street, Unit 3, which is off the corner of East 3rd and I. And take a look at this, a three bedroom, two and a half bath, penthouse, two le living levels. Uh, hardwood floors on the first level with an open floor plan. You can see that this is the view from the kitchen. That would be the living room in the background. And reverse that picture and we have the kitchen that has some kind of 80s, 90s tile and cabinetry and appliances, but that can easily be fixed. And here are some of the bedrooms and uh, a view from the deck and there's a common roof deck too so this is real close to the beach real close to broadway 419 bank owned 1750 square feet that's a good deal too and then we have some properties that went under agreement let's take a look at the ones that went fairly quickly 69 marine street bank owned unit three has a little bit of a dated kitchen but it has three bedrooms one full bath it can easily be converted into um, a two bedroom two bath which is what um a lot of the properties in South Boston are. So that's a, a good buy or was a good buy. And then this property took 27 days on East 2nd Street, Unit 1. It's a four room, two bedroom, two bath, about 1,000, 1047 square feet, brand new and a deeded parking space, which is fantastic, especially in this weather with all the snow. And the highest price one was 503 East 1st, Unit 5. And this is probably my favorite unit in the whole South Boston area. It's a duplex with two outdoor exposures, private patio deck and private roof deck. And you can see that it's staged awesomely or whoever's living there is taking great care of it. And uh, it's a little bit of a European feel, but it's definitely, or New York City feel, but it's definitely a really terrific, terrific looking unit, 649. And then we had some property sell. Some took a while. This one for 429 days was a short sale on N Street. This one for 150 days was just, um, it's a three bedroom, two bath for 232, which seems to be a good deal. It's got granite and stainless steel. It's about uh, 1,000 square feet. So let's do the math on this one. If you're getting 700 bucks from your buddies, if you're renting it, and it went for what? 232, what was the financing? Conventional fix. So it looks like they have to put, uh, let's say 10% down. And they got 4.75, and their insurance is thousand bucks. 1,600 bucks a month, and if you're getting seven from your buddies and the other two bedrooms, you're looking at a mortgage payment of yourself at 237. So if you had the money to put down the uh, 23,000, that is a pretty good deal. So let's take a look at some of the higher end stuff. 501 East 5th Street for 555. It's a very nice 1900 square foot, three to four bedroom, two and a half bath property that sold for 555. It's um, again 1885 square feet and does have one parking spot. 141 West 2nd, 303. And this is a, no pictures in this building, but this has a um, 
deeded garage parking spot and roof right sold for 570 and 41 Farragut took 298 days but this is look at the roof deck which is pretty awesome it's got um, three decks actually nice kitchen open floor plan and so it came on the market for 640 699 and took uh, a, a while to get it sold 265 days and sold for about 100,000 less than what they were asking for. Let's see what they paid for it. Six ninety, so you can see why they wanted to get that, but they sold it for five ninety eight, so I had to come up with some money. But I'm sure they paid down the mortgage a little bit um, since then. So let's throw in all of the condos in South Boston and see where we're trending. Hundred and ninety four properties on the market with an average asking price of four thirty one and a market time of just um, under five months. And the under agreements this week was right around the same price tag, but the, the days on market was significantly less. So maybe some of the properties like the the ones on Dorchester Ave above, they're definitely skewing with the numbers because you can see on the right there that um, a lot of those properties have been on for three hundred and twenty days plus. So um, Let's see if we took those out, what will be the days on market. It only went down about to 133 days as opposed to uh, the 140 something 150 something we were just at but it took the average price down to 405 so it kind of solidifies the uh the properties this week were pretty much priced correctly with the majority of them going in under 100 days and then what sold this week was an average price of 472 in a market time of 280 18 days and i'm sure that short sale took, had a lot to do with it as well but for the most part you can look for if you remove that you'd probably be in a 160 170 day market for those properties above 470,000. If you have any questions, give me a shout, 978-835-6870. We'll talk to you soon.